Hello everyone, Q is the most popular data structure in terms of coding interview. Interviewer may ask you to implement Q, or there are many advanced interview questions require you to use Q, for example, bread first search, and many graph related questions. Today, let's take a look at basic operations of Q and how to implement Q using Java. Data structure basically have insert, remove, and is empty function in terms of queue, in queue is the adding an item to the queue, and the queue is remove an item from the queue. Here is the example of in queue. We have one, two, three, four, and I'm going to in queue one into the queue, and I'm going to in queue number two into the queue, and I'm going to in queue three to the queue, and then I'm going to in queue four into the queue. That's it. So the in queue is just adding item to the queue data structure. Then the next concept is the queue. I'm going to remove one from the queue. And I am, I'm going to dequeue again from the queue. Then two is going to be out from the queue. Then I'm going to dequeue again. Then three will be out from the queue. And if I'm going to dequeue again, then the number 4 is going to be out from the queue. So we have take a look at the in queue and dequeue. So as you can see, the first inserted item came out first. So we call it first in, first out, as known as FIFO data structure. Okay, let's implement queue using Java. Here's the code I implement and let's take a look main function here. Here I have my queue MQ and I in queue 1, 2, 3, 4 and until the MQ is empty, I'm printing out the item from the queue using the queue function. So let's take a look the my queue class here. So in the my queue, I just use the array list of the integer here and if you take a look in queue function, I'm just adding an item into the array list here and in our the dq function here if the queue is not empty then I'm going to just remove the first item of the array list and we can just reuse the array list is empty function for queues as empty function that's it you can find my code from github.com in this URL and uh, I'm going to see you on the next video thank you very much